afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm going to tell you guys a story about Mr. Turtles and Mrs. Tail. Once upon a time in a great forest, there lived Mr. Turtles and Mrs. Tail. Mr. Turtles was slow with everything he did. So he, ate, he sometimes ate his breakfast so slowly that it was almost time for lunch before he had finished it. Mrs. Hare, on the other hand, was quick as wind, can all the shit in. She would be up in the morning, finish with her breakfast, change her to fancy clothes, put some makeup on, going uh, for an early walk in, in, in the forest before Mr. Torres got out of the bath. She could not imagine how Mr. Torres constant to be so slow all the time. One day, Mr. Torres was passing by Mrs. Hare. I zig said the hair, I zag. With my strong hind legs, I can move like the wind. Now Mr. Turtles had thick legs, and now he carried his house on his back. Mrs. Hare, he said, I may move slowly, but I can beat you in a race. Oh well, Mr. Turtles, what are you talking about? You know, I'm the fastest one in the forest, said the hare. No one can beat me. So, a race, a race, said the animals, and they began to get ready. Um, as the sun rose over the hills, the animals scurried to the start line. Mrs. Hare was already there, and she was fixing her eyelashes. Where's the Mr. Turtle? Hare asked. Here I am, he said. And the Mr. Turtle crept to the starting line and stood beside Mrs. Hare. The chipmunk pulled out a whistle, and the race had begun. Mrs. Hare jipped away and quickly disappeared. The animals cheered, and Mr. Turtles began to walk slowly along the track. Mrs. Hare moved so fast, and she could not see Mr. Turtles anywhere. Well, I have a time, said the hare. So she stopped to the nibbles beside the grass, um, uh, um, she, and she stopped the nibbles uh, at a delicious grass beside the road and she ate and ate. So, and she smacked her lips and looked behind her. And moving slowly down the road was a tiny, tiny speck of green. <laughs> That's the thing is Mr. Turtle is loud to hear. And then, oh, I have a time, said the hair. So she made for herself a soft bed under a tree and was soon fast asleep. The animals were tired of watching Mr. Turtles because he was so slow. Let's play, they said. And but Mr. Turtles said, I there is a time to play after I win this race. And away he went. Mr. Turtles took a few more steps and a few more. Soon he could see a finish line just up ahead, and mm, so he pushed himself even hard. The animals cheered, and the shade of the big tree, all the noise woke Mrs. Hare from her long nap. There was Mr. Torres, and he was just a few step away from the finish line. With a stretch of her long legs, Mr. Mrs. Hare, Mrs. Hare start, began to run. I'll win this race, even if I stop for snacks and snooze, said the hare. I'll win because I'm the fastest in the forest. So she began to run as hard as she could, but it was too late. And then Mr. Torres had won. But well, I'm the fastest, said the hare. And Mr. Torres said, I, you, may slow, I, you may be the fastest, and I may be slow, but I didn't finish it. I didn't stop until I finished the race. The end. <laughs> <laughs>